In this neat little box is a small transmitter with a tiny output that's very stable and is a dream to set up and get on the air. This is a whisper transmitter. It arrived here from Sweden about a week ago and I've been playing with it ever since. For those who are not familiar with Whisper, it stands for Weak Signal Propagation Reporter and is a protocol designed for analysing uh, potential propagation paths with low powered transmissions. These days it is included as one of the weak signal modes in the WSJTX application. Now as well as being a great way to monitor and assess propagation conditions, Whisper is also very useful for testing the efficiency and the effectiveness of your antennas. So to read more about Whisper and WSJTX, see the link in the notes below. But back to the transmitter. This one is made by a company called Zactech, owned by Harry Zachreason. He manufactures and sells three types of transmitter. Two of them are in kit form. This one is a ready-made model called the Whisper desktop transmitter and is a standalone unit with a built-in GPS module and an external GPS antenna. Now this uh, desktop unit comes in three versions. The first one covers the 2190, 630, 160 and 80 meter bands. The second one, this one, covers 40, 30, 20 and the 17 meter bands. And then there is a high frequency version for the 15, 12, 10 and 6 meter bands. Now the power output is rated at 300 milliwatts into 50 ohms. Uh, and that's on most bands. It will vary a little bit from band to band. The power usage is very modest at 1.25 watts. So at 5 volts, Harry says it draws 100 milliamps on idle and 250 milliamps on transmit. It's powered from USB. So it could be powered from a phone charger like this blue thing I've got, or uh, a USB power pack, or of course from a laptop computer. And the weight is only 170 grams. Now, you need some PC configuration software to set up your call sign and the band that you want to operate on. After that, it operates in a standalone mode. So once the setup is completed, this transmitter doesn't require the computer at all for its operation. Whisper timing and your maidenhead position are automatically taken from the GPS network. The two minute time slots are worked out by the internal GPS module. The GPS also knows your location and will automatically fill out the maidenhead grid in the transmitted message. Because of that, and the fact that it is so small, as long as you have a power source and an antenna, you can take this thing just about anywhere without the need to reconfigure it. I like that. What you get in the box is the transmitter, an external GPS antenna with 3 metres of cable, and a 1 metre long USB cable to connect to your power source. All you need to do is provide the power. To do the initial configuration, you go to the Zactech website and download the necessary PC software. Now, my shack runs on the Apple operating system, so uh, I had to borrow my wife's old Windows PC for a few minutes to set it up, but it was easy to do. So, should we flip the lid on this thing and take a quick look inside? So as we have a peek inside here, we can see it's a very neat, very clean, very well laid out unit. And if we work from right to left, on the right hand side we've got power and status LEDs. We've got a GPS antenna input. And up the top there, the USB port, which is for power programming and configuration into your PC. Across the top there is a built-in 8 megahertz Arduino running open source uh, programming. And at the bottom there is the 300 milliwatt wideband amplifier. Moving along to the left we've got a bank of uh, switched low pass filters. 
and up the top there's some extra VHF suppression uh, for low pass filtering and right at the end on the left there is the RF output to the antenna once you have downloaded and installed the configuration software plug in the USB lead from the transmitter and start up the application you can see four tabs across the top there start with the serial port tab Select the serial port from the drop down menu and press the connect button to connect the transmitter. And then wait for the software to pull data from it and show up on the display on the right hand side of the window. On the boot configuration tab, you have a choice of either using the inbuilt signal generator or the whisper beacon each time you boot up the transmitter. I mentioned the signal generator, which is a little additional feature should you need it. The tab there allows you to set up the exact frequency. We won't be needing that tab for our whisper transmissions. On the whisper beacon tab in the blue area, you will see four green boxes highlighting the bands associated with the model of transmitter that you have. Simply check the box for the band on which you want to transmit, fill in your call sign, check auto GPS, and after the GPS signal has been established, your maidenhead grid should come up in the box below. You can vary the length of pause between the transmissions. The default appears to be set at 120 seconds, which for some operators may be a little too often, so you can change that if you wish. Once it's all set up, press save and then start. You should have a dummy load or a resonant antenna connected to the transmitter while you are doing the setup process. Once setup is complete, Try running a few cycles of transmission to see that it is working okay before disconnecting the USB lead from the computer. When plugging the transmitter into a power source like a phone charger or a USB battery pack, expect it to take several minutes while the transmitter establishes a GPS signal, gets its timing sequence sorted out and begins transmitting. Full instructions for setting up your transmitter are on the Zactec website. Here I've got the transmitter set up to an old power meter. The cycle of operation has been established and we are just waiting for the transmitter to start the next two minute cycle. The status LED will begin blinking five seconds before transmission and remains on continuously for the full two minutes of transmission. There it goes, the meter needle is now registering some power. The meter has three ranges for 2220 watts. On the 20 watt range, the very last or bottom scale shows markers for 1, 5, 10 and 20 watts. You can see there the meter needle is reading just under 400 milliwatts. Now on this old meter, it's very hard to see low power in the milliwatt range. But we can see that a signal of at least 300 milliwatts is getting out. So, there it is, the Whisper Transmitter desktop version from Zactec. I've really enjoyed playing around with this, and uh, I've had it on 40, 30 and 20 metres, and it's been picked up lots uh, right throughout the US and into Japan as well. So it's, uh, it's really working very, very well for just 300 milliwatts uh, using the Whisper technology. It's uh, really quite, quite fun to uh, to play around with this thanks for watching hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, if you did and you want to subscribe or uh, leave a comment down below we'd love to hear from you and if you hear this thing on the air let me know 73s for now see you again soon